Hey there from Michael here. Welcome back to another tutorial video. So, um, last time I did one on how to use PK Hex along with 3DS Safe Editor 1 or 2, and I got some feedbacks from you guys, and I know I still have a lot of things to improve, but um, this time I'll be showing you how to. Okay, I'm not saying yet, but. Some of you guys suggested this web browser RAM based Pokemon injection, but I find it a little bit too limited, too restricted. So I found I found this one. This one is a little bit better because you can edit the whole PC. Just um just output the PC from your 3DS. You don't need any hard drive, you don't need any any stuff like card readers like uh 3DS save editor provides you with and um, this is a little bit less limited, a little bit less restrictive. The only thing that um, it restricts you is you have to use uh, an old, uh, old 3DS, not new ones, no, not the one with the C sticks, and you have to be on firmware 9.0 to 9.4. And um, I think that's pretty much what you have to make sure you are on your 3DS. So uh, if you are like meeting these requirements, you can do, you can try this method. And this is not region locked, so um, even I think even Korean region 3DS can use this one. And um, without further ado, let's begin. So the first step is obviously download PK Hex again. Um, so I said again, I'm not gonna do it. So the link is here click this one and you will start downloading and I'll put the link in the description as always and um, the next thing you need to do is to download this file from this website it's called PC edit it's just some data file and uh, the source codes you need to in order to output your PC and input your PC afterwards so after you download it you unzip it Zip and zip and zip. Yes, and it's here. So these two files, you don't need the readme text file. So highlight these two, copy, and um, now you want to uh, unplug your SD card from your 3DS, and of course, <laughs> just inject it into your PC or Mac or whatever you're using. So. Where's my SD card? Let me see. Okay. Hey, Aloha. Okay, it's here. So, uh, you don't you don't need to click into any folders. Okay, you don't want to see my photos. Um, just on the root directory, you paste these files. Yeah, basically, it's it. You have to prepare, uh, all you have to prepare is this. So now you might want to go on to your 3DS, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we are back. So now you can go ahead and launch Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, X, or Y. So this step, you have to like um, output your whole PC box for you to edit it on your... PC or Mac with PK Hex. So, um, what what you need to do is basically launch the game. So, you have to make sure you're in game that you can move freely around like this, and then just stay wherever you you can, like anywhere here. Okay, and then press home button. Then you go to browser and then you can save it to favorite if you want. So here's the URL for outputting the whole PC box and I'll put it in the description below so you don't have to type it all. But now I'm gonna type it in. Okay. So it should say error. Okay, it's green. Green means it's okay. The the PC box is now output. And then if you see a red, a red lower screen, it probably means that 
uh, you're not in game, or you're maybe you can't m uh, move freely around. Like if you are in uh, in a, maybe in the middle of a dialogue or something. So normally it will just pop you uh, um, like crash your browser, and then you press OK, and now you you power off your device. Okay, now so. Um, we have to go back, go back to the Mac or PC or anything you're using. Okay, so we're back. Um, in the previous steps, I told you you don't have to download uh, the PKX again if you have, but uh, actually you have to update it to the newest, um, at least uh, January twenty seventh or early. Oh no, earlier or later. So, um, this is the latest version, January 28th. So, uh, you have to launch PK Hex now, and then uh, remove your SD card from your 3DS and plug it into your PC or Mac, or whatever you're using. So, launch PK Hex, and then click File, Open. And then find your SD card in the computer, my computer. But no, uh, this is a virtual machine, so it's not in my computer. Um, and then in your SD card folder, find pcdata.bin. And then it should load. If it says it is not supported, the file size is too big, or the files, the file format is not supported, you just um, want to update the PK Hex to the newest version or you might have done an, uh, anything maybe something wrong in the steps previously so you you have to check back or if these two are not the solutions to you you might have to contact uh, PK Hex developers or just leave a comments below and I will try to help you to contact the developers for you so um, now you loaded the box and you can see all the things here and then I'll try to make it short so I'll do the same thing maybe a little bit different this time I'll find the space first okay okay box 8 and then I'll make it an Arceus so it knows nearly everything I'll just randomly choose A, B, C, D. What? What's happening? Stop it! Stop it! Ding, 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 ding. What's happening with a Mac? It's so weird. Shut up. Okay. Um, and then everything after everything you edit it, just go ahead and set. And do whatever you want, but uh, as you can, as you may have noticed, the things, these things below, is grayed out, so you can't edit any of those. So, like I said before, and um, okay, and then after you do everything, after you've done everything, press Tools here, Tools bar, the Tools tab, and then press Save Box Data Plus Plus, and then press Yes. And then just re uh, just cover up and replace. Go ahead, replace PC data bin. Yes. Okay. Now your save file is edited and saved. So um, you can remove your SD card and plug it into your 3DS once again with fancy videos. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. So we're back. So um, now you go ahead and launch again. RAS or XMY. And, um. Okay, I'll not update. And then, this step is to inject or input your uh, edited save file, the PC data.bin, into your PC box. So now, you do the same thing as previously you did, just launch your game, make sure you're in game, that means you can move freely around and then go to home screen and then again go to browser and um, there's another link like previously I did 
to input your save file or input your PC boxes to be specific and um, I'm, I'm gonna put it in the description below so you guys you guys can see it and um, I'm gonna go ahead and type it in now okay and let it load and don't let it go okay green it's successful so now wait for the crash no one do anything yes the crash is here press OK and then go back into ORS or XMY and now boot up your PC and they are there boom okay Arceus 50, uh, level 50 and then everything from from Absorb baby doll eyes uh, calm and then this is dark dark pulse yes and uh, the the stats from superior is here too the, the nature that increases speed and lowering attack and um, yes that's pretty much it for this method so if you like this method please leave a like and leave some comments on how I do how I do today, how I did today, and I hope I didn't bore you to dead or make it too long video. So I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you visit all the Facebook pages. I'll put them in the description below. And um, yes, I'll see you next time. So until next time, see ya.